Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bearded Fortech. If you're new to the channel, welcome. You can learn about some 6.7 Power Strokes or your Ford vehicles. And uh, today we're going to be going over a 2020 F450 6.7 Power Stroke. It had a code P008A, which is low fuel system pressure. So, what does that mean? We're going to talk about that. So the P008A means low fuel system pressure. That could be a clogged fuel filter. It could be gelled up diesel fuel. It could be a fuel pump. It could be a fuel rail. Well, I already know that this truck has a SNS DCR pump, or should I say DCR pump from SNS Motorsports. I know it's not the fuel pump. So we're actually gonna get up underneath the truck. We're gonna check the fuel filter, change it since we're already down there, do the upper one, and then we're gonna get inside the truck and we're going to do the high system the high side fuel system pressure test using FDRS and I'll show you how that's performed. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I had a 008A, which was a low fuel pressure code, but this one has a DCR pump in it. I know DCR didn't fail. So I'm gonna pull this fuel water separator out of here. I know it may be kind of hard to see, but I'll show it to you when I pull it out. And then we'll go and change the upper fuel filter and we'll prime the system and then we're gonna do a high system fuel pressure test. So, let's pull this thing out of here. And unplug. I already drained it, let me close that off. It's five eight millimeter bolts. I really hate these things sometimes. So what will cause a 0088, it's a low fuel pressure. That could be gelling. When it's really cold outside, it could be dirty fuel filters. And if it's none of those, it could be a fuel rail. And if it's not that, then you know, it's probably your high pressure fuel pump, but this has a DCR in it. What does it look like? What does it look like? You guys see, ooh. I can see it in the camera. Oh my. That'll do it. That will definitely do it. And there's no metal, nothing inside there. Just the normal chunks from the tank. Um, let's change out a fuel filter, huh? I, know, I had one just a minute ago. What did I do with it? Found my filter. Clean it out. Brake cleaner. Just got the normal debris in it. this up with an air gun. Gasket on, put a new filter in. See, clean. A new gasket. And, and put a new filter in it. And then we'll change the upper filter. 
and we'll prime the system and then we will do a high pressure fuel system test. I'll show you how that's performed. Uh, it passed the first time with the when it was commanding and on demand, it goes through different phases. It passed all that, but when it was doing the, I guess you'd call it the leak down, I don't remember exactly what it's called, you'll see it on the screen. It was like two parts that that failed. Or it was in the red. But we're gonna do that and I'll show you how it's done. And as soon as I get this back in here, it will go up top and change the engine fuel filter and I'll show you the DCR pump that's in there and we will go from there make sure when you put this in you plug your whiff sensor back in whiff meaning water and fuel So that's good. The fuel water separator is in. We're going to go up top and we are going to change out the engine, the upper engine filter. So let's get up top. Upper engine fuel filter, excuse me, upper fuel filter, upper engine fuel filter. This line right here, that's the line that goes to the DCR. That's the new manifold. You can't see the DCR because it's actually way back underneath inside the valley but we're going to take off these fuel lines and unlock pull the line unlock pull the line that's the DCR line and then this is the injector return. <clears throat> These little boogers are tight sometimes. There we go. Get my, my non fingernails up underneath there. And then you're unlocked and pull you off. Put in my new filter and then I'm gonna wipe down my mess there. Push down, turn, click, lock, click, lock, click, lock. Let me wipe up my mess up here and then we'll go put some AMSOIL additive in the fuel tank. We're going to prime the system and then we're going to do the high system fuel pressure test. I'm using the all in one for this one. This one is clean, a lubricant, anti gel, and power. It's getting to be that time of the year, especially you people that live in really, really cold states. You want to put anti gel, you don't want your diesel fuel to gel. And if you guys want some of this stuff, I'll give you a link um, in the description where you can pick some up and uh, put some in your tank for yourself. I'm going to put the cap on we're going to go prime the fuel system. And by the way, this thing has 165,132 miles on it, so we turn the key on. And we're going to let it prime and I can hear it
trying to be quiet so you can hear it. Stopped. Key off. Key on. Now remember, this thing has a DCR. So we're going to see how quick it starts with the DCR. Done. Off. On. And almost. Almost. Still, there, it stops. And I'm gonna turn the key on, ready? Boom, look at that. Fired right up. Now, I'm gonna go crack the shop door and then we're gonna start the high system, uh, high pressure fuel system test. Okay, I'm in FDRS. This is the main screen. I'm gonna type in fuel diesel high pressure fuel test run and it's telling me press the brake pedal to abort um, transmission must be in park um, apply the parking brake wear safety glasses blah 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 um, we all know that safety squints anyway ignition in key on engine run state Transmission in park, brake pedal not pressed, and the AC is off. All those conditions are met. I'm gonna hit continue. Engine coolant temperature, 102. All right, so let's get the coolant temperature raised up. All right, so the temperature went up. Now watch, I'm not touching anything. Shuts off. Boink. And it should pop up my results down here at the bottom.
It runs good. Drop down time. There's my build up time. I'm not really too concerned about that. That's actually a lot lower than what it was. So that's how you do the fuel system high pressure test. There you have it. Fuel water separator at the back, pretty dirty. Change the, the filter up top on the engine. You can see the hose with the DCR pump. I showed you how to prime it. And that thing fires right up when you got a DCR pump in it. And then I went through and I did the high side fuel system test. So you guys can see how that's performed. Now, if it was the pump, when it was actually commanding it on the high side, on that first green graph that you saw, it would have been yellow or red all over the place if that was a pump failure. Now, I did test drive the truck after I did that, and it's running great, it's not sluggish. And that was one of the complaints uh, when they initially put the report in, was sometimes when you're going up a hill, it feel like it's kind of sluggish, like it's not getting enough fuel. Those were their exact words. So that led me to believe it's probably some fuel filters going on. They got some trash, maybe pick up some bad fuel. So change the fuel filters out, put some AMS oil fuel additive in there. It is starting to get cold. Um, really doesn't get cold enough where I am for gelling to occur, but you got to put that anti-gel stuff in there before the fog line. If you, you can't put it in there when it's already cold and expect it to ungel it. It doesn't work that way. You have to put it in there beforehand so it doesn't gel. And that AMS oil anti-gel works mint so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i appreciate you guys sticking around and watching and as always i love you guys and i'll see you on the next one